Welcome to Power for Parkinson's. My name's Debbie Rosenberg. Take the class at your own pace. If you need to stop and get some water or take a rest, rest at any time, and then start again when you can. So we're gonna start by sitting up straight and tall. You wanna scoot forward in your chair so you're not using the back of your chair for support. So pull your belly button in like you're zipping up your pants. That's the feeling you want all the time, sitting up straight and tall. Let's start by marching in place, taking some nice deep breaths. Opposite arm is leg. So you want to swing your arms and get a natural rhythm going. Marching in place, get the blood flowing, and try to do the opposite arm as leg. So when you walk, you want to try to swing your arms and use the opposite arm as leg. So just march in place and breathe. Inhale through the nose and exhale through your mouth. Nice deep breaths. Deep breath in, exhale through your mouth. Deep breath in, exhale through your mouth. Good, let's start by taking nice deep breaths, inhaling up and exhaling down. Keep marching, deep breath in, stretching and lengthening through your spine, exhale as you release. Deep breath in, exhale down, deep breath in, and exhale, good. Flex your fingertips, shrug your shoulders up, and then press down, lift up, Press down. Keep your legs moving if you can, or you can just do the arms and the shoulders and sit up, press down, up, press down, lift, lower, lift, lower. Now alternate shoulders. Speed it up just a little bit. Faster tempo, loosening up the shoulders. Go back together, up and down, lift, lower, Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, alternate. One, then the other. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now roll your shoulders up, back and around. Opening the chest, circling backwards. Everything we do in life brings us forward, so we wanna reverse that by opening the chest and rolling back. Good, keep going. Warm up your shoulders, nice deep breaths. Now take your hands on your shoulders, bring the elbows up, back and around, going for range of motion through the shoulders. Inhale, lift, exhale back and around. Now alternate shoulders, backwards. Loosen up your back. Good, now both arms together. Inhale up, opening the fingers, exhale back and around. Lift, exhale back and around. Big arms, inhale and then exhale. Good, one at a time, backstroke. Eyes follow your hands if you can. And release, now heel out. Touch your shoulders, heel together, heel together. So when we walk, we walk heel toe, we pick up our feet. This is gonna help you with your walking. Pick up your feet and extend the heel out. Heel together, heel together. Switching the arms, open from the chest, out. Lengthen through your spine, sit up straighter, belly in. Good, four more. Three, two, one. Now press the arms forward, press. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now lift up, up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down for four, four. Three, two, and out to the side. Out, two, three, four. Press forward, two, three, four, and up, up. Two, three, twos. Down two, out two, forward two, 
up two, down two, out two, forward two, up two. Let's take it to singles. Down, out, front, up. Down, out, front, up. Again, down, out, front, up. One more, down, out, front, up. Good, now opposite arm is legs, swinging your arms. Open your chest, lift, lift, good. Swing those arms, get your blood pumping. Now lift the knees, knees up, lifting from the heel. Toe up, lift, lift, lift. And back to a march, march. Swing the arms, open your chest, opposite arm is leg. Good. Take your legs wide. You should be getting warmed up now. Hands on your thighs. Using the arms, do a push-up. Hinging from the waist, press. So the hips press back, you're looking straight ahead. Use those arms so you're doing a push-up against your legs. Your chest is out, you're looking straight ahead. So I want to be able to see your eyes. Four more. Three, two, one. Now with the shoulders, bring your shoulder to your opposite knee, stretching your spine. Shoulders. And look back over your shoulder as you stretch your waist and your back. Taking deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Back to the center. This time take both hands to one thigh. Chest is right over the thigh. Hips are back. Press. Use the arms. Chest up. Let me see your eyes. Good. Keep going. Four, Three, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Two more. Nine, Nine ten. Eight. Good. To the other side. Press. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. To the center, cross the arms, hinging from the waist, lean forward, circle the upper body around. Abs are in, strengthening your abs, your waist, and your back. Reverse your circle. Exhale over, inhale around. Deep breaths. Good. Now take your hands by your ears. Opposite elbow to the knee. Working through the waist. Abs are in. Exhale over, inhale back. Good. Now kick to the front. Reach to your opposite foot. Sitting up straight and tall. And march. Good. Chest out, belly in. Let's practice scooting back in our chair one hip at a time. And then you're going to scoot forward one hip at a time. Scoot backwards, scoot forward, one hip at a time. Again, back, scoot forward, one more time, back, and forward. Good, scooting forward, walk your feet out, toes, heels, toes, heels, then in, heels, toes, heels, and toes. And just take your hands like you're opening and closing a door. Working through the wrists, strengthening your hands and the forearms. At the same time, working the feet. In, two, three, four, out, 
two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Bring the toes in. Hold here, tap your toes. Tap, tap, tap. Working through your shins, lift your toes. Swing the arms. Now lift your heels. Toe, toe, heel, heel. 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 And march. Run. Fast. Faster. Faster. Back to the march. And now toe, toe, heel, heel, starting with your right foot. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Run. Legs wide, faster. And back in. Good, deep breath, inhale, stretch tall. Reaching side to side, sway. Knees together, feet together. Stretching from the waist, exhale over, inhale back, like a tree in the wind. Now bring your arms across your chest, eyes follow your hands, sitting straight and tall. And lower your hands, reaching side to side, lengthening through the rib cage. Reach. Good, release. Now alternate pulling the knees in toward your chest, sitting up tall. Reach behind your leg as you pull your knee up. Stretching the lower back and the lower hips. Breathe. Now we're going to do one leg eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. eight. Switch for eight. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven eight. eight. Switch. Hold your leg up, clasping your hand underneath your thighs. Press your shoulders down and back. Rotate the ankle. So pull your toes apart and then circle the ankle. You want to do ankle rotations every day, keeping those ankles flexible and strong. Circle the other way. Now seated balance, hold that leg up. Sit up tall, pretend there's a string lifting you tall. Now lift your hip if you can. Lower the hip back down and release that leg. Good, switching legs, reach under your thigh. Pull your shoulders down and back, sitting up straight and tall. Rotate the ankle. Circle the other way. Good, hold your leg up, flex your foot, stretch tall. And now lift your hip if you can. Lower the hip and release. Good, now extend your leg out, hold. Release, switch and hold. And release, good, now one heel out. Hand on your bent leg, hinging from the waist. Lift your head and chest as you press your hips back. Reach to the toe if you can. Now take that arm and reach it up, back and around, eyes following your fingertips. Again, lift up, back and around, and hold. Feeling the stretch in the hamstring behind your leg. Good, come on up, lift the leg up and down for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And shake out your legs. Switching legs. Press the heel out. Hand on the bent knee. Sit up straight, hinging from the waist. Reach toward your toe if you can. So by lifting your toe, you're going to feel that stretch deeper behind your leg. Lift the arm up, back and around. 
If you can, eyes follow your arm. Up, back and around. Good, release. Come on up, sit up straight, 10 leg lifts. One, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, 10, two. and release. Now jump the rope, lifting your heels, opening the chest, circle, lift those heels, arms come up, circle. Now tap your toes, circle backwards. Arms come down, twist side to side, reach, 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 stretching the waist, arms out, chest height, open and close your fingers, working through the hands, up at an angle, chest height, Now two down, two down, two out, two up, two out. Down, out, up, out. Down, out, up, out. One more time, down, out, up, and out. Good, shake out your shoulders. We're going to work on standing now, so you're going to turn your body in at, at an angle. Your legs are apart, hands on your thighs, press your hips back. So if you have a walker, use your walker to help you stand. You're going to use your legs to slowly stand up, and then you're going to sit down slowly, building strength in the legs. Use your hands if you need to. If you can, take your hands across your chest and stand up without using your hands. So you want to build strength in the legs. If you can stand unassisted, you're less likely to fall. So we want to build up the strength in our legs. Slowly come up and then slowly come down. Good. Let's step back to the center now and to the other side. So your legs are wide. The wider your stance, the better stable you're going to be. Hips press back, chest up, slowly stand up and then sit back down slowly. If you need to, take your hands on your thighs, use your hands, or if you need to, you can take one hand in between the legs and one hand on the chair. Make sure you're stable. Let's do one more, come on up, stay up this time. Good, now we're gonna walk around to the back of our chairs. Working on our balance, we wanna start by keeping our feet parallel. So think about lining up your ears, your shoulders, hips, knees, and feet. So look at your feet, make sure they're parallel. When we're using a chair, we want it to be sturdy. Never pull back on a chair. If you need that chair for balance, push down on the chair. And keep your knees slightly bent so they're soft. Start by taking a nice deep breath, inhaling, lifting and lengthening. Pull your belly in and breathe. Good, lower back down. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, release. Now to the side, lift the arm up. Look up at your hand, slowly lower back down. And all of these exercises can be done seated as well as standing. So never feel like you need to stand. Now both arms together. Inhale, stretch tall. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears, lengthening through your spine. And then lower back down. Good. Now both arms out to the side. Open the chest, stretch tall. Shoulders pull down. Now shrug your shoulders up to your ears as you inhale. Exhale, pull your shoulders down. Feel that difference. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, lower. Open your toes, building more support. Now we're going to come up onto our toes. So zip up your pants. Pretend there's a string pulling you up, lengthening your spine. Stay up on your toes. Try to find your balance. So focus on a spot in front of you that's not moving to help you balance. Take one hand off the chair if you can. If you can, let go of both and balance. And if you take the arms out to the side, that's going to help you with your balance as well. Good. Now bend your knees and lower your center of gravity. 
So anytime your balance is compromised, you want to bend your knees and lower your hips. So inhale, stretch tall again. Lower the arms. Open them out to the side and slowly come up onto the toes. Hold on if you need to. Good. And bend your knees and lower your hips. So balance is just something we need to practice. So we're going to keep our hips squared. Hold on to your chair if you need to. You're going to step out to the side, same arm as leg. Push off that leg and bring your foot back to the center. Reach and push back. Reach. Good. Push back. Reach. Bend your knees, push back. Reach. 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 Good. Now we're going to step back behind us. So keep your hips square to the front. Hold on if you need to. You're going to lift your foot and bring your toe back behind you. Your support knee is bent. Your abs are in. And then slowly bring that foot back. Toe back and in. So try not to pull back on your chair. Press that chair down. Tap. So all your weight is on that front thigh. And then release. Reach back and you're barely touching your toes. If you want to add more balance, extend the arms and then pull back in. Reach, pull back in. So your abs are in, bend those knees, building strength in the legs as you work on your balance. Reach and reach. Good, shake out your legs, pump your feet. Opposite arm is leg, so whichever knee is bent, lift the opposite arm and then reach, alternating, pumping the feet, the feet, going for range of motion through the ankles. All the way up, deep breath. If you lose your balance, step wide and bend your knees. Inhale, lift, good. That's it, now lift the knees, march in place, opposite arm is leg, flex your foot as you lift your knees. Lower your center of gravity, bend your knees, try to do the opposite arm as leg. Good, get a nice rhythm going. Breathe. Now take your legs wide. Legs mat width apart or chair width apart, open hips, natural hip opening. You're going to lower your hips by bending your knees over your toes, arms extend out. So your back is neutral. You have a natural curve in your spine. Stretch over to one side, stay low. Strengthening the legs, back to the center, and switch, reach, hold on to your chair if you need to for balance. Come back to the center and lift, lowering your hands down and up for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now come down and hold and do a little pulse. Open your toes. Breathe. Feel a burn in the legs. And come up. Go walk your feet in, toes and heels. And then shake out your legs. Feet mat with, or chair width apart. Bend your knees, circle the hips around. Loosen the hips. If you're sitting, you can take your hands across your chest and just move the upper body. And then reverse, roll those hips. Good, holding on to the chair. Now lift the knees to the side. Chest up, standing straight and tall. Flex your feet, lift those knees. And release, shake out your legs. We're gonna step over to the side of our chair. So you want your hip in line with your chair. Bend your knees. Now if you can, take your outside foot directly in front. So you're lined up, one foot directly in front of the other, arm comes out, working on your posture and your balance, and then let go. Stretch long. Okay, hold on to your chair, stretch up, reach and lengthen. And if you lose your balance, step wide. So let's practice that. Step wide and bend your knees, and then slowly bring your foot back up in. 
Step wide and bend your knees. Bring your foot back up. Two more times. Step wide. And you'll see by widening your stance and bending your knees, you're going to catch your balance. Good. Hold here. Arm out to the side. Come up on your toes if you can. Focus on a spot in front of you that's not moving. If you want to let go, do so. Good. And release. Sink into the hips. And then release. Shake out your legs. So we're going to use our inside leg now, lifting that knee up. Opposite arm comes forward. And then bringing that toe back, squeezing the glute. Knee up, toe back. Knee up, toe back. Four, five, let's do eight, six, seven, eight. Now do a little kick. Kick to the front, kick back. Squeeze the glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And toe back, small lifts up, squeezing the glute. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Chest up, working the back of your leg. Two more, and good. Shake out your legs. Good. Let's carefully walk over to the other side of our chair. Arms out. And then take that outside foot in front. So one foot is directly in front of the other. Line up your spine. If you can, let go and balance. Stretch tall. If you can, come up on your toes. Lower your heels, bring your arm up, stretching tall. Let's practice stepping out to the side wide. Step out and slowly come back in. You're actually working the balance more as you come back in. Good, one more. Out and hold, lengthen. Try to lift both arms up, shoulders down. Good, release down. And then take the feet parallel. Line up your spine, belly in, lift the inside knee up and the opposite arm out. Now bring that leg back. Knee up, toe back. Knee up, toe back. Four more. Three, two. Now kick the leg if you can. Kick, swing, kick, swing. Three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Toe back, lift the chest, small lift, squeezing the glute. Lift, lift, lift. Four, five, let's do ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And really shake out your legs. Take your feet apart. Press your palms out, rounding your back, bringing your chin to your chest as you exhale. Stretching the back and then inhale, open the arms and chest, stretch tall. Fist and open, working through your hands. Deep breaths. And then take the palms, press out, chin to your chest, rounding your back. This time bring the arms low, opening your chest, fist and open. And if you can, take your hands behind your back, clasping your arms as you pull your arms away. Good. Release. Shake out your shoulders. Good. This concludes our standing portion. We're going to sit back down. Now we're going to do a band portion of the workout. You can get these kind of bands at Target or Academy. And these bands, you just make a knot on the ends, and these work just fine. And different colored bands have different resistance levels. So if you want to get the ones with the handles, those work as well. And if you don't have a band, you can just use a towel. So we're going to, here we're going to use the bands with our handles. But if that's what you, just use what you have at home. We're going to start by taking the bands behind our back. So it's underneath the armpit, our elbows are pressed down, our chests are up. So scoop forward in your chair. We're not using our back for support. And then just let the handles hang so you've got lots of resistance on the bands. 
So your muscles are like these bands. You want lots of resistance to build muscle and, re and use resistance, strengthening our bones and our muscles. So you're gonna extend out and then release slowly, keeping tension on the band the whole time. Exhale out, and then inhale, release slowly, sitting up straight and tall. Exhale out, inhale, release. So your elbows pull in and then press out, making a V with your arms, releasing slowly. Exhale out, inhale back. Always keep resistance on the bands, taking these exercises slow and controlled, smooth and controlled. Exhale out. Now hold your bands out, do a small circle. Lift your chest, try not to let the handle swing. And then reverse your circle. Chest out, belly in, small circle. Five, six, seven, eight. Bend the arms slowly. Now this time we're gonna reach across our body. Cross the body, bend. Press out, release slowly. So the closer your hands are into the band, the more resistance you're gonna have. Adjust your bands accordingly so that you've got some resistance, but you're not in pain. So you wanna feel the muscles working. You never wanna feel any pain in the joints when you're exercising. If you feel any sharp pain, stop what you're doing, rest, and then start again when you can. If you continue to feel pain, stop. Good, now reach up at an angle. Lift up at an angle, release slowly. Exhale up at an angle, so your eyes follow the band. Good, keeping lots of resistance on the bands. And now we're gonna do one to the side, and then one up at an angle, combining the moves. Across the chest, and then up at an angle. Switch across the chest, up at an angle. One more time, across the chest, up at an angle. Good, now both palms up, reach forward, keeping lots of resistance on the bands, release slowly back. Sit up straighter, work on your posture. Exhale out, inhale, pull back, good. Exhale out, inhale, pull back, out and in, good, four more. Four, three, two, one. Good, now we're gonna alternate lifting our arms up over our head, bringing the arm up slowly, releasing slowly. Wiggle your fingers occasionally, make sure you're not gripping the bands too tightly. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. That's two, we're gonna do eight, three, No, four, five, six, seven, and eight, good. Good, release your bands, take your bands in front, shake out your shoulders, wiggle your fingers. Now we're gonna hold on to our handles and we're gonna place the bands under our feet. So you wanna make sure you've got tennis shoes on or nice supportive shoes. Your feet are right in the middle of the band, you're pressing down with your legs. So press your legs down, tighten your abs, and then release. Press down, so make sure the bands are not gonna come up by pressing down with your legs and engaging your core. Press down, your toes are pressed down. Good, now use the arms with it. Palms up, press those legs down, lift up from the chest, bicep curl up, lowering down slowly. So working the biceps, that's the front of the arms. Keeping resistance on the band, slow and controlled. Three, let's do eight, four, five, six, slow and controlled, seven, Eight, two more, nine, and ten. Good, release. Now rotate your palms back. 
Sit up tall. Your wrists are straight. Your band is an extension of the arm. Pull your shoulders down and back, and then pull the arms back behind you. Stop at your hips. Pull back. Stop at your hips. Press your feet down into the band. Four. Let's do ten. Five. Working into the triceps. That's the back of your arms. Seven. Head up. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Now keeping the elbows slightly bent, you're going to lift to the side. Shoulder height, wrist is straight, and then release slowly out to the side. Keeping resistance on the band, shoulders down. Lift, lower slowly. Lift, lower slowly. Lift, lift. Lift now to the front, arms extend, chest height, stop shoulder height, and then release. Stop shoulder height, release. Sitting up straighter, and your wrist is straight. You don't want to bend the wrist. Using resistance to build strong muscles and bones. Good. And release. Now bring your bands in front of your body. You're going to cross your bands, switching your hands. Press your feet into the band. So the wider your feet, the more resistance you're going to have. If your feet are parallel. Take your hands to your hip bones, pulling your elbows back, sticking your chest out, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then releasing. So you're working into your back. Elbows pull back, chest opens, and then release. Good. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, release. Pull back. Release. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. Feel the back working. Good. Wrist is straight. Breathe. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Good. Now lift one elbow up. Look at your wrist. Make sure it's straight. Lots of resistance on the bands and release. Same elbow. Up and down. Two more. Lift. Lower. One more. Up and down. Switch arms. Lift your elbow. Check your wrist. Make sure it's straight. Two. We're doing four. Three. Four. Good. Now take your bands and place them over your thighs. Make sure your toes are parallel. You're sitting up straight. So if your toes are rotated, the band can slip off your heels. So make sure your feet are straight. We're going to work our outer thighs by stepping out to the side and then sliding our foot back. Out to the side, slide your foot back. Side, pull in. So feel the hip and outer thigh working. Good. Out and slide, out, slide, out, slide. Working those outer thighs and hips. Keeping resistance on the bands all the time. Out. Slide, out, slide. Good. Now tap your toes. Tap, tap, tap. Working the shins and the ankles. Lift your heels. Alternate toes, heels. Working through the ankles. We want to keep our ankles nice and strong. That's going to help us with our walking and our balance. Good. Release. Go ahead and take your feet out of the bands. This time, fold your bands in half. Keeping resistance on the bands. Chest height, you're going to pull them apart and then release slowly. Pull apart, release slowly. Sit up straight and tall. Now up over the head, shoulders down. Pull apart, release slowly. So if you have shoulder injuries and you can't lift your arms, just keep your arms chest height, that's okay. And release, sitting up tall, twist side, center side, exhale over, inhale through the center, keeping resistance on your bands, working through the waist. Let's do two more. One more. And release. Good. Go ahead and put your bands down. Wiggle your fingers. We're going to transition to balls now. 
ball. So if you do not have a ball, you can use a bowl and just put it on the floor or use it for range of motion. So I'm going to show you how to use the ball. You can get these at the dollar store. They're very inexpensive. I highly recommend getting a ball. So let's go on with the ball. So let's start by placing the ball between our legs, a little up from our knees. We're sitting all the way forward in our chair, not using our back for support. And again, our abs are pulled in, our shoulders are back, always working on our posture. Start by squeezing your inner thighs. So we worked our outer thighs with the bands, and now we're working our inner thighs, squeezing tight. And as we tighten, we're going to lift our pelvic floor and squeeze and hold, and then release. So we're working deep in our core as we work our inner thighs. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Now squeeze for the count of three and then release on four. Squeeze, two, three, release. Squeeze, two, three, release. Squeeze, two, three, release. Squeeze, two, three, release. One more. Squeeze, two, three, and release. Now holding on to your chair, scoot halfway back. You're going to lean back in your chair, pressing your shoulders down. We're going to use our lower abs, so push down with your hands and try to lift your knees up off the floor. If all you can do is lift your heels or lift an inch or so off the floor, that's okay. But you want to make sure you're using your abdominals for these exercises and not straining the back. So if you feel a strain in the back, lower the feet. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, go one more time, exhale up, and inhale down. Good, scoot forward again. Grab your ball, pressing your palms into the ball, start by rotating side to side, stretching the shoulders. You should feel your shoulders working. Good, now bend your elbows. Elbows in, chest out, palms are straight, pressing your palms into the ball, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, so you're using the resistance against the ball, working into the chest muscles. And then the arms extend, squeeze. Shoulders press down, work on your posture, nice deep breaths, feel the chest working. Now one hand on top, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Switch hands, other hand on top, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Rotate side to side one more time, stretching the shoulders. Good, bring the ball into the chest, going for range of motion. Big circle one way, inhale up, exhale around. Eyes follow the ball. If you lose your ball, be very careful chasing it down. Our natural instinct is to chase after it. Just let it go. Good. Switch directions. Inhale up. Exhale around. Big circle. Two more. One more. Good, now we're going to do some seated balance. So you're going to lower the ball to the floor. Place one foot on top of the ball. So the ball of your foot is on top of the ball. Your arms are out, sitting up straight and tall. Start by lifting the other leg up and then lowering it back down. Lift and lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Now sitting up straight, extend your leg out. This is designed to strengthen the muscles in your knees, so you're going to press the weight out past your heel slowly and then pull your toe back. Press out, pull back. Slow and controlled, strengthening the muscles around your knees. One more. Good. Now we're going to put the two moves together. Lift the knee, extend the leg out. Knee up, heel out, knee up, Heel out one more time, knee up, 
and heel out. Now, leaving the heel out, take your hand on your thighs, press the hips back, leaning forward, stretching the hamstring. So the, the more you lift your toes, the more you're going to feel that stretch behind your legs. Now take your arms out and swim the breaststroke. Exhale out, inhale around. One more. Good. Inhale, stretch tall. And release. Good. Bring that foot in. Switching legs. Place your foot on the ball. Sitting up straight and tall. Scoop forward in your chair. Try not to use your back for support. Lift your leg for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Extend the leg out. Press the weight out past the heel. And then pull your toe back. Slow and control, tightening the thigh without locking the knee. Strengthening the muscles around the knee. Go ahead and lower the ball to the floor if you can. Two more. And let's put those two moves together. Lift the knee, extend out. Working on your balance. Knee up, heel out. Knee up, heel out, one more, knee up, heel out. Hold here, hand on your bent knee, press the hips back as you lean forward, lifting the toe. Extend your arms, swim the breaststroke out and around. One more, arms extend up, stretch tall, shoulders down. Good, release and release. Good. Go ahead and pick up your ball. We're going to cool down now. So you're going to take the ball behind your back, lean into the ball, and give yourself a nice back rub. You've worked hard today. You've earned this. Relax into the stretch. So just lean side to side, loosen up the back, and you can adjust the ball to get different parts of your back by lowering the ball or lifting it up. Okay, now take the ball between your shoulder blades if you can, sitting tall, scoop back in your chair, and take your hands behind your head. As we cool down, you're going to open your chest, look up, pull your elbows wide, and support your head with your hands. Take a few deep breaths here. If you feel comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. Inhale through your nose, feel the rib cage expand, and then exhale, let out all your air. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, release. Good. Open your eyes and then sit up straight. Scoot the hips back a little bit further, stretching from the waist, side, center, side. Exhale, over. Inhale through the center, lengthening through the rib cage. Stretch. Good. Now reach to one side. Hold onto your chair. Reach the arm up. Look up at your hand. Shoulders down and roll the wrist. Reverse. Good. Lower the arm shoulder height. Bring the arm across your body. And then take your other arm and hook it under, stretching the shoulder. Holding here, fist and open your hand. Good. Make a fist. Circle your thumb. Good for arthritis in the fingers. And then reverse. And hold here. Turn your head. Look over your shoulder. Stretch your neck. Back to the center. Turn your head. Center. Release. Release the arm. Stretch the other arm up. Look up. Roll the wrist. Reverse. Lower the arm shoulder height and bring the arm across. Now hook the other arm under, pulling your shoulder down. Fist and open your hand. Make a fist, circle the thumb around, and then the other way. And hold the fist, turn your head, look over your shoulder. Eyes follow the head. Come back through the center, turn your head. And center, good, release, inhale, deep breath, open the arms and chest, give yourself a big hug, rock side to side, 
Inhale, deep breath. Other arm on top. Hug, rock. And release. Open the chest. Bring your hands together. Good job. Thank you. Enjoy your day.